Hey everyone, I'm Holly Wengerski with Suburban Canine. Do you have a prong collar for your dog? Do you have a hard time getting the prong collar on and off with the links and you can't figure out just quite how to get it on properly? I have tons of clients with this issue. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing a product that is not as well known, but I feel like it should be. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Herm Springer Click Lock. As you can see, it's a buckle attachment for the Herm Springer prong collar. It basically replaces the middle plate. With that being said, it also has an added safety feature. So I slide this plastic part over, it's able to cover the buckle, and then I could quickly click and it comes undone, just like that. So no more finagling with the links to get it on and off, the risk of your dog getting off leash because it's not on properly. This makes it so much easier for my clients to get on and off the prong collar. Just like this, click, lock. Super, super cool much cooler than other buckles I've seen on the market and, and it's Herm Springer brand. With that being said, I'm gonna be covering today a little bit more about the Herm Springer Click Lock and also the Herm Springer Prong Collars, which we swear by. A couple of disclaimers before we get started. Herm Springer is the brand that we recommend to our clients and also it's the brand that we sell. It is a German brand. The reasons I like this over any other prong collar is one, it has a middle plate here, which ensures that the prongs are going in different directions. So you can see they're not all going the same way. These ones are pointed out that way, which helps with the uniformity of a tug. Also, the links are a lot more sturdy. And when you look at them from this direction, they're rounded. So I could push really hard on this and not feel any pain. I could put it on my arm and I can correct my arm and I don't feel any pain. That's because the edges are shaved down. Whereas some of the ones that I've seen in stores that are being sold are cut, but then they're not shaved. So they're actually really sharp. So the nice thing about this one, it's a lot more rounded and safer to use. It also has a nice tightening capacity where you tug and then release. You can see it moves pretty smoothly. I'm not the biggest fan of, you know, prong collars that have the cloth here because I feel like after you tug, it doesn't really re return back to its natural state. So that's the, another reason I really enjoy this collar. So because of those reasons, that's the main reason we sell these and also recommend them to our client. I don't use any other brand because I have not found one that is good enough as the Herm Springer prong. So with that being said, let's get into the Herm Springer click lock. So as you can see, it is a buckle. It actually is 100% stainless steel and this is a high quality plastic material too. So I explained it a little bit before, but I wanna show you how you would pop it on and off and assemble it. Uh, before I put it on the collar, I'm gonna show you up close. So let's get closer. You can see that this here is the actual buckle itself. So this sliding plastic part could cover it, which is the extra added safety feature. And then if I slide it, that's when the buckle becomes accessible. So I'm gonna push it, I will say, it's a little bit hard to get used to at first. When I took it out of the packaging, I was messing with it a bunch, so now I'm a little bit better at it. I imagine it would take you some practice too. So it's nice to use two hands when doing it, which is good because you kind of need two hands to get your dog collar off. That means it's secure. So I'm gonna push, pop off, right? I already pushed it earlier. Now I'm gonna put it on and then cover it with the plastic safety. Boom, you can hear it clicks, click, lock. Just like that. So very, very easy. The reason I recommend this over other buckles is because of the added safety feature. I feel like with other buckles, it's easy for them to get tarnished over time and then the collar could pop off or something nicks the collar and or it's not put on properly and it pops off and then you have a dog off leash and a lot of bad things could happen. So the nice thing about this one, it's pretty clear when you pop it in because it makes that really loud click noise and then you can slide the locking feature on after that. So I'm gonna show you once again, slide, lock. Awesome. I have a lot of clients that would benefit from this product. I've recommended it to a couple different people. Um, a lot of people tend to struggle with removing the links of the prong collar. So if you haven't used a prong collar before, typically the way you take it on and off is you'll pop the link up, squeeze, pop out. I make it look easy. I always joke with my clients that I could do it in my sleep. Um, usually they struggle a lot more than I do. So they'll, you'll squeeze at the top where you can see the links bend slightly, 
pop directly into the inserts. I have found a lot of clients will try to slide it in like this and I've showed up to many of their houses and it's like that, that is very unsafe because the collar is not on securely. So I would much rather recommend a click lock where they're not even messing with the links overall and then I know their collar is on safe and secure. Also, like I said, you're gonna be removing, if you are removing from the links often, you might need to replace a couple links over the years and if you're using a click lock, you're not really touching the links as much. So the chances of you needing to replace them are a lot less. Of course, over time you might need to, but not nearly as much as if you're constantly removing from them. So let's get this collar um, assembled with the click lock and let's put it on Anakin and see how it goes. So let's do it. It is about, you know, a third of the size of this. So you might need to remove two links to get the proper fit on your dog because this takes up a lot of room compared to this. So that's a couple of things to keep in mind when regards to sizing uh, purposes. So let's get this on now. Also removing the middle plate ensures that both prongs are still going in opposite directions. If you removed it overall, you're not gonna figure out how to attach these two together. So let's pop it in just like that. I can never do it lefty. There we go. I always have to ask my clients, are you righty or lefty when I'm handing it to them? So it actually added a lot of size to it. And you can see this is what it looks like now. So it's on, it went on pretty easily, so that's good, but it's secure. I can push up the links just like this. It's not popping off. If you ever did notice it was loose, I would replace that link that you have attached it with to get a more secure one and make sure it's not bent by any means. So I'm gonna show you once again, up close, squeeze, pop. So you push this part down, you can see it's a little bendy bendy, bendy bendy, pop in, boom, click, lock, just like that. So one thing I do wanna mention before we try it on Anakin is that there's a couple different sizes of these. So this is the 3.0, 3.2 millimeter. There also is a 2.25 millimeter and then a 4.0 millimeter. We as a company sell the 2.25 and the 3.0. So a couple of things to keep in mind before you purchase it, definitely make sure you know what size it is. We like to call the 2.25 our small prongs and then the 3.0 our mediums. So I have Anakin on a medium. So when you see him in the next clip with it, if it looks like it's the size that you use for your pup, I'm sure the 3.0 and 3.25 will be a good fit for you. I'm going to put this on Anakin and I'll probably need to remove one of these other links as well because now it's quite large and his neck is not this big. So let's test it on out and see how we like it. All right, everyone, no surprise. We got our star Anakin here. He is just loving having this job because he can test out all the products and he quite literally looks like a human right next to me, doesn't he? So we're gonna test out the click lock on him. So I already assembled it as you saw. What we're gonna do now is I did remove an extra link. So I removed the link, that, the middle plate, and then an extra link. So that's in order to get the sizing done properly. Otherwise it was gonna be too loose on him. So just a reminder, I pop it in and then lock it. So pop and lock it. Now I'm gonna try on Anakin, slide the lock, pop it off. Always make sure it's not tangled, of course. Let's get it on. Honestly, pretty easy. And it's honestly pretty easy to slide the lock over too. So I'm gonna rotate it so you can see, this is what it looks like. I need to pull Anakin's ears back like a man bun. It looks pretty similar, you know? I mean, it's a nice lock. It's not digging into his skin by any means. It looks nice, it looks sleek. It's pretty cool. I already know my dad's gonna like it because he doesn't like putting on and off the prong collar. But overall, it's pretty easy to assemble on and off honestly more so on his neck rather than when it's just off of him. So I'm gonna try taking it off. I slid over the lock, pop off. It was nice and easy to get off and then also nice and easy to get on. Pretty easy. Well, if you are interested in purchasing this product, definitely check out the link below the video. And we hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you enjoyed click locks as much as we do. Thank you, have a good day.